Hey guys, I'm Matt Nuggery, and welcome to my latest video. So, as you can tell by the title, we're going with another top five. As you know, it's my favourite series, but um, this time we're going with top five games. And I've been gaming since I was like really young, sort of like four or five, and I've always loved games. And might sound a bit sad, but I am Matt Nuggery, so you know, kind of comes with the name. But I've managed to narrow down a list of the five favourite games of my sort of that I've played. Also we have the honourable mention section at the end, so stick around for that. So without further ado, let's get into it. Five. So number five, we have a game that makes me feel like a child again when I think about it, like a really young child, is Simpsons Hit and Run. This driving game was absolutely amazing. It wasn't just a driving game. You could get out of your car, you could walk around, you could interact with objects, you could you could kick people. You know, it was just silly, but it was absolutely brilliant. I had a great storyline. I had just brilliant gameplay. It was just basically there's different maps of Springfield, so you know, from Simpsons and you basically drive around and complete missions such as collecting items or racing people or even dis destroying people's cars it was just it was a sillier version of Grand Theft Auto basically and wow that game was just so much fun and I really would love to play it again someday or maybe they'll make another one but who knows Simpsons Hit and Run very good game four. so number four on the list is not necessarily a specific game but more of the series of games and that is FIFA now FIFA has probably been the best football game franchise that's been out since well since it first came out in in the late 90s and um, it's just for essential for football fans really if you're even if you don't really play any other games or if you don't play games at all but you're into football you will probably have played FIFA some point in your life or you will probably f watch a lot of football so that will make you play FIFA if you ever get a chance. For me myself I do play a hell of a lot of FIFA, have had pretty much every FIFA that has ever been apart from I think I haven't didn't have FIFA 06 and I didn't have FIFA 12 those are the only ones I didn't have but apart from that I've had all the FIFA since FIFA 2000 I think and Say what you want about FIFA, but it is one of the most successful game franchises ever made, so that's why it's on the list. Three. And now, the last three games on this list were really hard to choose. I couldn't... The order that they're in is just... I managed to come up with an order, but it was very difficult, because a lot of these deserve the number one spot. But at number three, it's Batman Arkham Asylum. Now, this was amazing it absolutely revolutionized games because let's be honest batman is one of the most famous comic book characters and he's been in so many movies so many tv shows there's so many comics so many books it's just batman everywhere and they finally made a decent batman game with arkham asylum and basically the storyline's absolutely brilliant you're taking the joker to but you play as Batman, you're taking the Joker to Arkham Asylum and it was his plan all along to go there because he sort of surrendered to you and he had it all planned out and he basically takes over the asylum and you basically have to fight your way through like ridiculous amounts of like bad guys and there was even like the super villains like you got the likes of Bane, Poison Ivy, Killer Croc, Scarecrow, Harley Quinn, you've just got an, a massive like a massive amount of villains like even small time villains such as Zaz and it was just an amazing game and the sequels for it have been really good but I have to say Arkham Asylum was my favourite one because it was just brilliantly set out and brilliantly played and there's so many good set pieces and it, sometimes it was hard to know when you're playing and when it's a cutscene it was that good it was just so immersive and it was just it's just the best Batman game ever if you have never played it, I recommend you check it out. Two. And at number two, it is Mirror's Edge. Now, this game is very underrated, I'd say. It came out in around 2009 or 2008, I think. 
and basically you're a free runner type person and it's just absolutely brilliant it's a first person free running game i've mentioned it before when i talked talk eh, when i talked about my top five music videos and basically one of the music videos in that i think it was at number one was based off of this game it's just such a brilliant game and if you look in shops you could probably get it for like a fiver or if you looked on ebay or online you could probably get it for three or two or three quid it's ridiculously cheap but it's just so good i must have completed it about three or four times it's just so much fun and i just wish it was longer and i do know that they are making a sequel and i'm very excited to see how that's going to play out and it's only going to be on next gen sadly which is why i'm trying to get a ps4 sometime soon which will help me be able to make video uh gaming videos because even though i'm going to be getting an elgato soon as well the PlayStation 4 share feature is just brilliant for recording games and stuff and that's personally why I'm pick thinking of picking up a PS4 rather than the Xbox One. One. And now the moment we've all been waiting for, number one, my favourite game of all time is Uncharted 2. Now yes this is a PlayStation exclusive so if you have an Xbox you've probably not played it unless... but you've probably heard of it because is the sequel of a action adventure game which is basically I describe it to people that have never heard of it as Tomb Raider with a guy basically or as it was codenamed before it actually came out the original one it was called Dude Raider as like a little joke because um, it's pretty much the same as Tomb Raider but with a bloke and it's just the characters and the storyline is just absolutely amazing like the first one wasn't really that good I mean I, I do own it I own all three that are out currently and but number two just absolutely blew my mind like it's so immersive it felt like a massive journey and it felt like such a long game and I've completed it I must have completed it about ten times it's so good Basically, if you could play one game before you die, I would play this because it's just absolutely amazing. I mean, I absolutely love this game, and the characters in it are absolutely brilliant. I mean, it sounds quite sad, but I wish those characters were real, man. Like, I really do because they're just so awesome and so easy to empathize with and it seems so realistic as well it's not like games that are really far-fetched like even though it is a little bit far-fetched with all the like mythological things that are going on it still has a lot of realism and it feels so realistic and that's what i really love about it i love games that feel realistic like another like, game that's going to be in the honorable mentions is also on there because it's realistic sort of i think <laughs> hey, check it out. Marco. Really? Come on. No. Marco. Hello. But anyway, guys, now we're on to the honourable mentions. So, three, ga three games as usual. First one, we've got Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag. And I could have gone for absolutely any Assassin's Creed because they're all amazingly good. But I went for this one because you're a pirate. Why would you not want to be a pirate? Pirates are absolutely amazing. I would give anything to be an old-fashioned pirate. They just had such an such an easy life, going on the open seas, you know, drinking when they want, sword fighting when they want, you know, boarding other ships, you know, just having a great time. They, they used to sing together. It's kind of like being at a football match, except the ships move. Well, except the stadium is moving and you're not watching football you're just with some mates and I just think being a pirate would have been absolutely amazing that's why I love Assassin's Creed 4 I've actually just recently completed it as well and absolutely loved it next we have a game which also reminds me of my childhood like Simpsons here on Spider-Man 2 now this game is based off on the movie it's one of the better games that is based off a movie because most games that are normally based off of movies are absolutely terrible and you should just not play them all it just would be a complete waste of your time so don't do it um, but Spider-Man 2 was an absolutely brilliant game and it wasn't it didn't have it had scenes from the movie but then it also had scenes that were and characters that were not in the movie and that's what I really love because I'm a massive Spider-Man fan and the last game on the honorable mentions is well it kind of goes to two games because they're both made by Quantic Dream the PlayStation Studio and 
It is Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls, and these are just absolutely brilliant story games. Like it feels like a movie. Like honestly, there's like quick time events where you have to press certain buttons and stuff like that during the game. But they're both absolutely amazing. If you've never checked them out, I reckon you're going to do so. To be fair, you probably want to go and watch PewDiePie play them because they're just absolutely great, and he just makes them so hilarious and. Yeah, PewDiePie's great, but um, yeah, go check those games out. Um, as for all these games, feel free to check them out. I'm sure you've played quite a few of them, most of my viewers, so if you haven't, go check them out. But as usual, guys, thanks for watching. Leave a like, please. It really helps me out. Comment as well. I, mean, I always like to hear your opinion. Subscribe.